So, in my last video, I showed you how to make video projection mapping on a DIY paper plant. This video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to start using Resolume Arena to do your own video projection mapping. I'm going to project on some blocks of styrofoam which I glued together and hung on the wall. Alright, let's get started! Go to Resolume.com and download Resolume Arena. The demo version is fully functional besides some watermark that appears once in a while. Here is how it looks like and here are the layers where you put your video sequences or any kind of animations. On the right side you will see the resources tab. You will find here many pre-made animations which you can use. So yeah, go ahead, just pick one randomly and place it on the first layer. Now open the advanced output menu by hitting Ctrl Shift A or from the menu output and then advanced. On the right side of this window, go to screen one and from device choose display two. This will tell the software to send the composition to the video projector connected to your computer. This is by the way, the watermark I mentioned earlier. Now, back to the advanced output window, hit save and close on the right bottom side. Click on the cell in which you inserted a sequence earlier. This will activate it and open the advanced output again. Now you can see the sequence you chose earlier playing. The advanced output windows has two main tabs, the input selection and the output transformation. Each tab has edit points and transform. Now we are getting to the real video mapping section. Those features allow you to distort the video so it fits the object on which you project on. Here you can see how the video is being affected by the distortion. In the advanced output window you can also use a background image so you can adjust and distort the video without looking on the object you are projecting on. This makes it much easier to do the mapping. I'm adding now a new slice and as you can see it's playing the same video. Here you can see how I use the background image to distort the slide to fit exactly one of the parts of the sculpture on the wall. While slide number two is still selected, I'm assigning it to layer number two. Same goes to slide number one. This one I'm assigning to layer number one. Don't forget to hit save and close. If you don't do this, all the changes that you made will be lost. In the main window of the program, I'm going now back to the resource and choosing yet another random animation, but this time I'm placing it in layer number two. If you want, you can duplicate a slice and place it in a different location. Back to the main programs window, go to the clip tab. There you can adjust many parameters. Here I'm causing the color to change gradually. This is by clicking the settings icon and then choose timeline. And voila, it's changing the colors gradually. So yeah, basically all you have to do is add more slices, add more sequences to the layers and play around with the software. If I can do this, everybody can. So I myself also kept going and added besides just animations also videos. You can find a lot of free videos also for commercial use on pixabay.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And remember that for video mapping, it doesn't really matter if you're projecting on a small product or on a huge building. Whatever you do, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye.